What is up guys, Gunslinger Dust here once again with another Borderlands 2 tutorial. Now in this video, we are going to kill Clark the Combusted Crypt Keeper. He is the secret uh, boss for Hollowed Hollow, the secret roid boss. I kept calling it raid boss because I have dyslexia, so please don't make fun of me. I'm just kidding, I don't, so go ahead and make fun of me. Um, now, in order to get this the secret Roy boss, we actually have to perform a certain set of actions in order to get him. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and just throw these guns out. And yes, I know. I'm a commando. Get over it. Now, we're going to throw this out. And I am playing on true vault hunter mode, so I actually don't know how tough Clark will actually be when we go to fight him. I only know that... These guys are tough for me now, and that's a problem. Now, in order to unlock Craig, the busted Crypt Keeper, the raid boss for this area, you have to basically perform four specific tasks. The first task is to kill the Pumpkin Kingpin. Now, he's actually the whole reason for coming to Hollowed Hollow in the first place, and if you don't know how to kill him or you don't, you know, you, ha you haven't killed him. Well, you have to do that first. And once you kill him, you'll notice that a torch lights up on the crypts in the little crypt area above uh, the tomb. Now, if you haven't seen it, you can watch my other video on how to activate him. But it's fairly simple. You know, it's kind of the the main story mission of uh, Hollow Hollow. Uh, once he's dead you can perform the other three tasks in any order and they are basically these three tasks the first task is that you have to find and destroy a set of pumpkins uh, and it doesn't matter the order that you find them in but I'll show you uh, where they are and stuff like that but you break these pumpkins and they will open up a like a church with a treasure chest in it and that is the second task. The third task is to sacrifice mods. I will show you where this is and what mods you need to sacrifice in order to uh, get this done correctly. And the third thing is that you have to find three television sets. And these television sets have to do with, um, they're basically homages to different stories or scary movies and stuff like that. Uh, but you have to find these three televisions, and I'll show you where to find those as well. You can do these in any order that I know of, and that is how we will summon Craig, the busted Crypt Keeper. Let's get started. So, the first pumpkin that you need to look for is actually right at the beginning of spawn. Like, the first, right as you come into this area, the hollowed hollow, it is right across the bridge. Alright, now once you pass TK Baja, the next pumpkin that you're going to grab is actually right up here. Let's come over here real quick and shoot this down and you'll notice that a fire comes out. Yay! And the third is actually right across from it right here. Um, so we're going to we're going to keep going. That's 3 out of out of 6. Once you've come out of the church and you're actually past these little vending machines, you're going to run a little bit forward and then come over here on the right. And here is the fourth pumpkin. That is the fourth one. Now the fifth is actually the other way. You're going to turn around and you're going to go back through this gate right here and you're going to head towards the Church of the Dead. Now this is actually the Church of the Dead right here, and the pumpkin is right around here. Let's, let's grab it real quick. If I don't go down. And it is right there. Okay, okay. Come on guys, tutorial, tutorial, seriously? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I actually died because, again, I am very under-equipped for this area, but I, would, I wanted to see just how hard this roid boss was. All right, so when you come up, you'll come around the church, and the pumpkin will be right there. So that right there is the fifth pumpkin. Now, here's what's cool. When you pop the pumpkins, you'll notice that the braziers light up. That is to... That is 
to really mark your progress. Uh, so you'll notice that we actually have five of them lit up, so we're just missing the last one. And the very last one is actually on the way to fight the blacksmith. You have to go fight the blacksmith, and then you can you will see the last one. So let's go ahead and head over to that direction. Now the final pumpkin, guys, is actually after the blacksmith and right after you, right around the, the area where this TV is, uh, the poltergeist TV. So right after the blacksmith, you come to the town and this is the final pumpkin. And once you break that, it will fly off and go to activate uh, you know Clark but it, it won't activate it until all of the, the requirements are met so you must kill the kingpin you must uh, break those and then you must do the TVs and the sacrifice so let's go finish up what we need to do and fight this secret Lloyd boss Once you have found the six uh, pumpkins and you've broken them, you'll notice that all the braziers light up and the door opens up to a secret chest. How cool is that? I mean, you get a chest just for doing very minimal work. And uh, I can't really use either of these, even though I'm, I am under-equipped. But I'll take them and maybe I can sell them. But that is it for that. So let's go ahead and finish up these challenges so we can fight the secret Roy boss. Okay, you'll notice that this second thing lit up, that is because I found all those pumpkins and smashed them. You'll notice that we still need to sacrifice the guns and find all of the TVs. So let's go ahead and finish up these challenges so we can fight Clark and probably get our asses kicked. Okay, guys, the next TV is actually down in the cellar. Um, it's right after you come through the blacksmith area so that right there is the blacksmith when you come down into this little town uh, this is actually where this TV is I'll mark it on my map it's at the it's at the end of this little loop before you drop back down and you come down here and you look at this TV and you'll you'll notice something spooky this little uh, the stream comes out of it and it's actually a reference to poltergeist which is a nice uh, a nice little thing uh, homage, I guess you could call it. And I actually, I noticed that, but the other two I did not notice. So the, actually the props go to Timmy Keeps Dying, and there will be a link to his video, uh, just so I could give him props. Okay, so the next TV is actually past where you fought the Pumpkin Kingpin. This is the pipe where the uh, blood came out, so we're actually going to go past this. The The next TV is a little bit off the beaten path. You're going to come up here, and you're going to hang a left. And then once you've done that, you're going to hang a right, so past the blood. And then you're going to hang another left. And you're going to travel all the way back here into the depths. And, uh, yeah, you will come across the TV and, uh, yeah. It's pretty scary. That's actually a reference to the Blair Witch Project. That's pretty cool. Let's go find that other TV. Okay, guys, the third TV that I found, and just remember you can find the TVs in any order, I believe, uh, is past the church. So here's the church, and you'll see these three crypts. You're going to go right of those. You're going to hang a right, and you're going to come back here, and you will find a lonely little TV all by itself. Oh my gosh, do you see the green the water coming out? Yeah, it's pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, now we're gonna check out the the boiling pot where you sacrifice. Now it's pretty easy to do and with the church behind us, right in the back, and we're kind of like right in the middle of the map, we're going to travel to this giant root. Uh, this giant tree and you'll see this cauldron Woo, cauldron of blood now this is the sacrifice you need to sacrifice one weapon one shield and one grenade mod now I'm going to get rid of some 
overpowered stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of curious as to whether it will still consider it uh, drop or not. Uh, let's see, that's going in the drink. All right, let's go and drop one of these overpowered shields that I will never be able to use, and now let's just drop an overpowered gun everything in there and voila out of this you get a free chest and there it is yay free iridium what did i get a uh, health thing and shotgun damage wonderful but i got tons of cash so that's pretty cool and that is it now it is time to go face clark the combusted crypt keeper watch me as i get owned <laughs> see you there all right, guys, this is it. This is the time for the showdown. All right, we're going to come in here. You'll notice that all of these braziers should light up. There we go. Boom, four. And here comes Clark, the Crypt Keeper. He is coming out. Scary. And we're getting mobbed by matter. normal enemies like on top that. of it. And there he is. So he comes out right here, and yeah, he is 52, but if I didn't have trouble with the normal enemies, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. He is ridiculously, uh, yeah, strong. But here's what's cool about killing Clark, the combusted Crypt Keeper, is he drops a really awesome rocket launcher, a fire rocket launcher. And just so you guys know, please don't use fire on him. I mean, it's just... Yeah, I don't know why you would, but whatever, just in case. So let's throw out some nades. He's actually not that hard. I, I expected a little more of a, of a roid boss, but maybe it's just, you know, an Easter egg kind of thing, and he's not really meant to be a roid boss. Uh, but whatever, you know, I'm also a little over 52, so, you know, maybe I'm just over leveled for him. Uh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead, and he has fallen. That's it, guys. Well, he did. He there, killed Luke. me. Now we just gotta clear out all these bastards that Boss. won't leave me alone. Maybe we'll kill those guys too. They're actually more of an issue for me sometimes than the other guys. That's pretty sad. Now you but be careful, honey. Let's see if he dropped the rocket launcher we were hoping for. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just, I'm having all kinds of luck tonight, all kinds of bad luck with spawn timers and such. But that is it. That was Clark the Crypt Keeper. Now, I have to be honest, I, I came over here and I was looking at the loot and I was a little disappointed. I was like, no, he didn't drop, you know, what I was hoping for. He didn't drop the super cool um, rocket launcher that I was hoping for. So I was, I was disappointed and I was about to cut it out until I saw this right here. That's right, baby. 157, which is pretty good for me. It's actually fairly rational fear in this case. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Boom. And this thing just shoots like almost mini nukes or something. It is awesome looking. And it's just one of the coolest uh, rocket launchers that you can get. And, of course, it is legendary on Ultimate Vault Hunter, some of these overlevel uh you know modes it's it's just a it's just an absolute killer so that is it guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it please like uh share subscribe do all that cool stuff tons more tutorial speed runs uh live streams all kinds of cool stuff for borderlands and a lot of other survival shooter stuff coming along in the future so i hope you enjoyed that that was clark the, the combusted crypt keeper uh, secret Void Boss tutorial. Alright guys, Gunslinger out.